Hello, I'm Kian and I am a first year medical student. I just wrote my very first midterm. Whew, that is a huge weight off of my shoulders. This vlog is all about that emotional roller coaster and how I sort of prepared myself for this midterm. Oh my gosh, blue sky. The sun is shining and there's blue sky. I forgot how amazing that feels because it's been so great this past week. Anyways, it's the start of a long weekend. I've got two weeks till my very first midterm, so just studying my booty off. Mm -hmm. Well, this book brings back some sad memories. Oh. Oh, hey, girl. Ugh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man, everyone here is like so trendy, so styling. And then there's me. Rocking camper chic. Oh my gosh, a squirrel. Anyways, had a fun lunch. Got my udon, have some leftovers, and then perused the bookstore. Just looking at all the cute stuff they have. And then walking around the campus. Soaking up some rays, but I think it's time to go back to reality and get back to the books. That was not the most productive afternoon. Definitely got very distracted on YouTube, but I'm switching out my location, going for a brisk walk outside and hopefully we'll check off my goals for tonight that I wrote down. Well, this is gonna be a longer walk than expected because I am lost. <laughs> this is a very large campus. Ooh, I have no idea where I am, but this is really pretty. I sort of want to do some activities that I don't normally get to do. So we have a swimming pool on campus and we have free access or we pay for access with our student fees. So I thought it's a good idea to go at least once while I'm here. Alrighty, hopefully that is everything that I will need. Pool felt amazing, but the hot tub made me like super tired and now I just want to sleep. So I'm heading over to the other side of town because we've got Thanksgiving dinner with my extended family. Really looking forward to some yummy food. Um, yeah, but until then, I just kind of want to take the bus over there because it takes a while and then find a coffee shop, get settled, and then power through a bunch of readings and modules. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I just sat on the wrong bus for like half an hour. <laughs> That's great. It's just way too into my readings and then all of a sudden I was like, yeah, this is like the complete wrong bus. So I'm at a different stop now. Luckily only one bus <laughs> stops at this stop, so I should be getting on the right one. So we just had a session on self-care. It was like small group discussion did some role playing, so practiced interviewing like difficult patients um, and just sort of talked about mindfulness and how we felt in the moment. It was funny, going in I was like, ugh, this is gonna be terrible, it's gonna be awkward, it's gonna be weird, I'm not gonna get anything out of it, but yeah, for whatever reason I feel like I got something out of it and I feel really good now, so there you go. This is vlog inception, but I just made a video on how I take notes on my iPad. So check that out if you're interested. It's currently 66% uploaded, but by the time this video is up, this one will have been up for like a week or two, so yeah. Alrighty, the laundry is in the washing machine. I just made my shopping list and I'm going to run, literally run because fitness, self-care, super important. I'm gonna run to save on and pick up some groceries. Woo! Woo, made it. Alrighty, mission accomplished. time for 
for a snack break. Oh yeah. Good morning. I am heading to get my blood drawn to see if my immunization worked. Ah, I hope it did because I really want to be able to give vaccines and stuff. Fun fact, these are nerve cells, but I thought it was an octopus <laughs> with its tentacles on this building, but it's research center for brain health, so yeah, nerve cells makes a lot more sense. Oopsies! So just spent the last hour in bed, it felt amazing, but girl, we got work to do. Gonna try and finish week five, which was the immune system. <sighs> so that I can do week six, seven, and eight over the weekend, and then do it all again next week in preparation for the midterm. Good morning, today is Saturday. We are officially 10 days away from the midterm. So today I'm hoping to review two weeks, um, six and seven, which are both on the lungs and hopefully also get a workout in, as well as do some other odd sort of assignments and prep that I need to do for this week. Oh my gosh, so I'm re-reviewing antibiotics, <sighs> and I don't remember any of them, so this is great. Anyways, I needed to change the scenery and I also need to work out, so I'm heading to the hospital because we have like a free mini gym there, and then I'll just study in the library at the health center. Well, so much for that plan. I don't even know if they're open on the weekend. My booty is V sore from sitting in those uncomfy Starbucks chairs for a very long time and I also need to pee. So I have left Starbucks and I'm gonna go work out. Good morning, it's me again. Same robe, crazier hair compared to yesterday. So it's Sunday, same story, just gonna be studying. So I just had lunch and now I'm heading out. Need a change of scenery from the apartment. I also just filmed, ooh, it's bright out. Just filmed a what's in my backpack slash what apps are on my phone video. So I have been using the Palmadoro study technique method thing. It's like where you do 25 minutes of work and then five minutes of rest and you just keep doing that. Anyways, I really like it. I feel like I'm able to get like way more done. Alrighty, I made it home. It's currently 6 p.m. I have been studying for a very long time. I'm very tired. Time to go for a run. So this morning we had a lecture on hypertension, which is high blood pressure, and the person lecturing us said that she usually recommends to patients to try and eat like foods with less than 5% of your daily sodium intake, if not less than 5, at least less than 10. So I've been eating my munchie mix, and the sodium content is 20%! Oh gosh! So I've been studying in this cafe, but it is so hot, I had to step outside for a minute to cool off. They like crank the heating. Woo. Good morning, so I'm just editing this week's video. It will be up tomorrow. It is all about what's in my backpack, as well as all the cool apps that I use on my phone. Good morning. It is Tuesday. We're officially one week away from the midterm. OMG. Uh, yeah. Kind of crazy. And I'm cooking pizza for breakfast. <laughs> it's fine. Don't judge me. It's healthy. It has spinach in it. Wednesday. It was so hard to get out of bed today. I snoozed for like an hour and then I just did CBL prep. So, yeah. 
So we had CBL in the morning and lectures, and we have the afternoon off to study because normally we get Thursday mornings off, but we have a cultural competency session Thursday morning. Anyways, super tired. I really just want a nap. So I've been lying on the couch contemplating my life slash eating my lunch. Anyways, I'm going to make myself a latte. Hopefully it rejuvenates me. Oh yeah. So I made this little matrix thing for all the things I want to do in order to prepare for the first midterm. So we have eight weeks covered on the midterm and I want to do all of the course objectives. I want to summarize each week. I want to do USMLE practice questions for each week. I want to do the practice quiz provided by our school for each week. I want to do Tony's questions. So Tony was the previous class president and he made like a giant document with a bunch of questions. I want to do online questions for each week just to reinforce like practicing things such as applying certain concepts or equations. And then I also want to do what I call a content review. So basically making sure that I know the three causes for a certain disease, etc. And then Anki is a flashcard app on my desktop computer that I use and it further reinforces content. So yeah, that's the plan. The green is everything that I've completed so far and then all the stuff that is like this light gray or white is stuff I have yet to do, so I feel pretty okay. Um, we're just a little ways over halfway through because I started sort of reviewing um, a week ago and I have a week left. Good morning, today is Thursday. I'm just going to study for a bit and then I'm heading to a interprofessional cultural competency session. And then I'm going to the hospital to practice taking patient histories. <sighs> if I look tired and stressed, it's cause I am. <laughs> so I've added another column to my study matrix called CBL. I'm gonna try and really focus on the cases that we have had presented to us because I think there will be a lot of similar patterns between I guess like laboratory findings and physical findings relating to the diagnosis and your choice of treatment. So I think that that would be a really, really good exam question for each sort of disease that we've covered. <sighs> okay, walking to the session. I hope I make it on time. I think I will, but I don't really know where I'm going. And they're taking attendance. So <sighs> fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, my feet are so sore. I am literally so over this formal dress code. It is not comfy. I just want to wear my sweatpants. My feet are sore. <sighs> it was fun for like the first couple weeks where I was like, ooh, I'm all dressed up like a doctor. But now I'm like, ooh, pajamas, where are you at? I am very tired. Today was a long day. I found it a little stressful just because there were a lot of location changes and I get lost very easily, so when you have to be somewhere at a certain time and they're taking attendance, it's like, oh my god. It was like that all day. Anyways, the patient interviews went really well. I got to write up a full patient history. I felt like a real doctor doing that. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe one day I will do this for real. Actually, one day I will do that for real. Update, I am no longer lying in bed. I'm sitting in bed. So much better. This is the setup. I'm nice and warm and comfy. Good morning. Today is Friday. Woohoo. Anyways, uh, I got CBL today. I did my prep this morning and I'm bringing food for the CBL group. And then I have lectures. I'm hoping I can actually be present and pay attention rather than think about the midterm that's like on my brain all the time now. And then yeah, after that I'll probably just study. I'm cutting it close, as usual, and I'm eating my lunch on the walk there. Here we are, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. So I did manage to go to all the lectures, which I'm pretty proud of myself for. I didn't go to the lab at the end of the day, but I actually paid attention during the lectures, so I think that's at least something. 
and I won't have as much to catch up on for the final when we have to do this whole studying thing all over again. My magic bean. Oh, it's a kidney. So it is 9 p.m. and I just spent the last like two hours watching YouTube videos not related to what I'm trying to learn. <sighs> Anyways, I'm done complaining. I've had my two hour break. I'm going to study for one more hour and then I'm just gonna go to bed at a reasonable time. I'm gonna rest, gonna recharge, and then I'm gonna kill my goals tomorrow. Green tea, because you know you need like a little bit of caffeine, but not like coffee level. I got my study matrix of all the weeks and the ways I want to review them. Gray is like unavailable or yeah, there's no review for that section. Honestly, every time I show this, I feel like it gets bigger because every time I study, I invent like more things that I need to do. Anyways, the yellow is the stuff that I quickly want to review tonight and then hopefully by the end of the weekend most of this will be green. So as you know, the antibiotics are literally going to be the death of me, but I made this handy dandy little table in numbers. You can do the exact same thing in Excel. So here we have like the indication, so outpatient cap, and then here in the white boxes we have treatments. Um, so at the bottom it like shows what's in the cell, so I just made the text white here. So for outpatient cap, there's two things you can treat it with. It is doxycycline and azithromycin. So when you click on here, it still stays white, but at the bottom it says doxycycline. And then when you click on this one, it says azithromycin. So this I find is like a really quick way to kind of quiz yourself and everything is here. So, so far this morning, I have reviewed concepts that I starred as weak points after doing a couple practice questions. There were a lot of weak points. I also still need to review the metabolism lecture. Ugh. Anyways, it's a beautiful day out, so I'm gonna go out, head for a walk, soak up the sun, and find a new study location. I bring my slippers everywhere I go because comfort is key. Well, it's a beautiful day to be stuck inside studying. I am experiencing that late afternoon slump in energy. So, I'm gonna have a nap. I hope it's not too late in the day. Good night, world. Ugh. See you when I awake from my sleep coma. So, update, I am still in bed, but I'm actually kind of doing some review. So if you remember my study matrix, you may remember that I wanted to go over my CBL cases. You may also notice that I have not done any of them. And I've been lying in my bed with my books open, but also with YouTube open in the background. Which means it's been an hour and I have done this one question from the very first case. Oh boy. So, had a random thought, but today, during my amazing but too long of a nap, I decided to listen to ASMR. It's the weirdest thing, but it's also super relaxing. I don't know what ASMR stands for, but basically it was this video of this girl and she had this like big fuzzy microphone and she had a makeup brush and she's like brushing the microphone and you like have your headphones on and it makes these like cool sounds. So relaxing, but like really weird. <laughs> ASMR. Is that a real thing? Eh. Back to work. Finally finished a case, which means I get to change this to green. I can hear all the people outside partying. Meanwhile, me, the med student, is here. Doing the same old studying. I am defrosting some prawns. Oopsies. Speaking of parties.
the people at Starbucks accidentally gave me a grande instead of a tall. Woo! Extra mocha for me! Reheating my mocha because I can't finish a drink to save my life. Having some junk food because that's how I roll. So I'm on a walk to get some fresh air, soak up the sun, and also pick up some sushi. I have been eating out a lot this weekend, but I just don't have the motivation to cook something balanced and nutritious. Like if I cooked at home, I'd probably make toast for lunch to be honest, which is not healthy or good brain food. So I think I have discovered my guilty pleasure in life and that is watching YouTube videos of Dr. Phil. Oh my gosh. People are so crazy. Like what? Is a woman obsessed with her pet rabbits? My mom is faking cancer? 9 million views? What? Dr. Phil to guest, have you been drinking? My study matrix is all green, which means I accomplished my review goals. I have one more day left to study. I have classes tomorrow, but we have the afternoon off. So I think I'm just going to circle some things that I hope to be able to re-review. So I put boxes around all the things I want to re-review tomorrow. Oh gosh. Ugh. 79 pages of required reading no oh went to lecture <clears throat> have the afternoon off and here i am in my bed instead of studying motivation in a cup <sighs> i have reached that point in my studying where i'm just like oh my gosh I have no motivation. I think at this point, I'm not actually that scared for it. Usually fear is a really, really great motivator for me. So I'm not that scared, so I'm not like studying my booty off anymore. So I'm just going to remind myself that I'm living the dream. Undergrad me, high school me would be so stoked that I am actually in med school right now. We are on the last week, which is cardiac, and I have two more sheets to go through. When I was studying, I made these fill-in-the-blank review sheets, and I photocopied them. So I answered them immediately after doing the review, and then the photocopy is what I'm trying to fill out now. Basically, I'm trying to use the concept of active recall, which is pulling things out of your memory. Whereas like passive recall would be rewriting your notes or rereading your notes and highlighting them. I have basically developed two categories of active recall for myself. One is content. So a question will be like, define what a B cell is or give the three reasons why a certain disease process may happen. The other type of active recall that I'm doing is, I call it like synthesis active recall, so it's where you have to answer a question that depends on knowledge and understanding, so memorizing that content, but also putting it all together. So early in this vlog, I mentioned I was going for blood work to see if my immunization works. Good news! I can give people injections because my antibody levels are high enough so I am immune. Woo! I am on a quest to find chicken wings! Alrighty, here we go! So that is the end of this week's midterm vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I am off to head to my first family practice visit. I think I might be giving real people injections. Fingers crossed, we will see. Anyways, I'll be telling you all about that in next week's vlog, so make sure you're subscribed. See you later.